Hi, hello. This is Surinder Singh. Uh, we are doing chemistry for class ninth. On that day, we have done about elements and their symbols, significance of the symbol. Then we have learned about valency, and we learn how to find out valency. We learn about univalent, divalent, trivalent, anions, and cations. Then after that, we have learned about variable valencies. We have same element is showing two or more than two valencies. And uh, now today we will be studying uh, the next topic that is about radicals. So these radicals are atoms or group of atoms basically, and um, which are having positive or negative charges. Now in the radicals. The, the number of atoms they may be same or different elements may also be there and they together are behaving as one unit the radicals may be basic radicals if they are having positive charge on them or and we call them cations and similarly radicals may be acidic radicals as they are having negative charge we call them anions now on that basis we are having this full list in your book which is showing us two types of radicals the first one which i am showing to you are the positive radicals which are having uh, which are monovalent in nature having plus one charge for example we are having ammonia nh4 plus gold au plus silver ag1 q plus we are having copper plus hydrogen plus one lithium lih uh, li plus 1 sodium potassium and so on then these are all basically positive radical they are cations now we are having divalent list also where the elements are there which are having plus 2 charge on them cations with positive cations uh, cations with plus 2 charge on them now similarly we are having trivalent also given in your book and tetravalent electro positive radicals are also been given in your book what do you need to do is you have to learn them because this positive charge and similarly we are having uh, another one where we are having a acidic radicals basically and these acid radicals also are having of cations or uh, sorry acidic radicals anions which generally are having plus 1 charge or plus 2 charge For example, here I am having a monovalent re uh, acidic radical. Hydride is there, H minus chloride, Cl minus bromide, Br minus, iodine, I negative, fluoride, F negative, hydroxides. Then we got cyanides, nitrite, nitrate, aluminate, hypochlorite, chlorite, chlorates, ferrochlorates, perchlorates, permanganate. bisulfite bisulfite or hydrogen sulfite also acetate ions these all are monovalent acidic radicals similarly we are having a list of bivalent anions or acidic radicals which are having a negative power of 2 oxide o minus 2 peroxide o minus 2 2 sulfide s 2 minus carbonate co3 2 minus Sulfate SO four two minus sulfite SO three minus chromate. Then we got a list of trivalent anions or acidic radicals where the power is minus three. Similarly, we are having tetravalent those where which are having negative four. We are having carbide, ferrocyanide. So you need to do what you need to learn all these list of acidic radicals and basic radicals but why we need to learn this acidic or basic radicals because acidic radicals or basic radicals cations and anions during the formation of combine uh, compound we combine together so in next video we will be learning about the chemical formula and how we are writing chemical formula or 